Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we'll be discussing about OS command injection vulnerability. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. Uh, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to join my community in order to get your doubts or queries solved, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, so guys, now we'll be discussing the next part. So here, as in the previous video, we discussed uh, like some theoretical part about OS command injection or command injection. And also, we I tried to show you a simple some delimiters and stuff. And uh, now I'll be showing you for the other settings as well for the sec other security settings as well. So I'll try to set this to the medium and let me click on submit here. So let me go to the command injection page page once again. And now let me uh, view this. Now let me see this view source code. So let's see what's happening here. So if you observe it uh, previously that uh, you can see like uh, you got a target here, a variable here, and you got something called as blacklisting. So blacklisting in the sense like whenever you find end or the semicolon, it is trying to uh, remove that and it is trying to replace that with is nothing but like and nothing an empty space or null space like that. Okay, and then it is executing it. So that is what the difference is like, let me show you. So it tried to uh, blacklist the stuff. So once it tries to find this end or this semicolon it is trying to make that as like this so let me show you that so what's happening here so let us assume that uh, we mentioned 127.0.0.1 and semicolon and uh, and who am i okay so once this input once this value is passed to that particular php code so what it is going to do is it is going to identify this semicolon here and it is going to replace the semicolon with nothing. Okay. So this is how it, it looks like. So let me show you that as well. So like you'll be not getting any input there. So let me click on this. Let me click on submit. Like you can see it is loading for a lot of time here. That is the reason like, uh, like 127.0.0 like what i mentioned there is this so there is nothing like there is no, no ip uh, like this right so that is the reason it took a lot of time so yep so if you can observe the blacklist carefully so it only mentioned and and the colon but if you go back okay if you go back to uh, some delimiters that are available so like we got semicolon we got n so this or is not much useful this pipe is useful for us now so let me try to use this pipe now okay so we already used that pipe so let me click on submit once again you can see we got this pipe is working like what happened in this particular thing is so it is trying to uh, blacklist the stuff okay so that is what happening and we try to like as we had access to the blacklist like what it is blacklisting then we are able to bypass that okay so and also guys this this one this application is only for like lab purpose only like you can't expect the same easy kind uh something easy like this in the real world okay so try to improve your skills like you can find a lot of uh uh so let me simply show the command injection word list so you can find a lot of them or the payload or anything like that you can call so you can see you can get a lot of them like these are some like encoding it is doing a lot of encoding here you can see it is using some or and or everything like that okay so in the worst case you can simply try to uh, brute force them like if you are uh, to what you call if you if you want to find out this vulnerability okay like uh, if you don't know you're not getting it and if you want to simply try the luck you can simply throw this uh, this thing but uh, trust me guys like if you find these kind of payloads like even the web application security team has people like us and they'll try to block all this stuff okay so that is it so and also you can see it is for uh, unix it is for this is for windows okay so the commands are a bit different and for linux it will be different okay so sorry so now let me go to the uh, next setting 
so which is high so i'll try to solve this high uh, high settings and i'll try to and i'll try my level best you know to uh, solve this thing so let me view the source here let me enlarge this a little bit you can see we got uh, a variable here target and here you can see strip slashes so it is going to uh, make this so strip okay so it is going to uh, break the thing into octets okay so let me show you this so once you mention okay so once you mention 127.0.0.1 so it is going to transfer that into Okay, 127 okay uh, 0 0 1 okay so it is going to divide this like it is going to construct this like a string and it is going to divide that okay and what it is doing is at the end like you can see uh, it is checking for each and everything so this octet is nothing but a list here or an array here so let me show you that as well so let me simply add a list here like i'm going to show you in the terms of python okay so don't get me wrong so python like most of the people know python so that is the reason and uh, so let me close this thing so you can see uh here that uh, it is checking for each and everything like so octet zero it is checking whether it is numeric or not okay it like it is checking each and everything whether they are numeric or not so let us assume that uh, like it is uh, dividing based on uh, uh, full stop or dot then what can possibly happen what can possibly go wrong is so let me show you that example here so 127.0.0.1 and uh, we are mentioning who am i so let us assume that this is our payload here okay so once it uh, once if this particular value is thrown into that function so what will happen here is so the last part will be something like this because you can see it is only trying to divide the string based on dot so th since there is a full stop here it is trying to this is a segment here 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 okay so now if you can see like it is checking each and everything like each and every index whether it is numeric or not so if you throw this particular uh, value is numeric so it is not be, it is not a numeric thing here okay so that is how it is getting filtered okay like almost all the os commands uh, uh, consist of some uh, what you call alphabets there okay like no like i think there are nothing no command which only runs on numericals so that is the uh, thing the developer had included here okay so you can see that is what and it is even checking the size of octet is equal to four only okay that's fine and so once it is done so once this particular thing is verified so it is adding like uh, it is trying to concatenate with the dot and it is doing the ping part and guys if you can observe this carefully like if you observe this source code carefully then uh, trying to bypass this particular sec uh, security system uh, like this high security is uh, next to impossible okay so based on like on my knowledge so like on my experience and knowledge like i have i'm not able to solve this because like you can see this there is a function like is numeric running over there and there is no way we can bypass this particular thing so so like if you take some like real life applications or real life web application so this is so this is the level you can expect okay so like you can try to write some other things like you can try to do some encoding and stuff and even in that case like you can't get a whole string to this uh, what you call uh this numerical part okay so that is it like you need to do some uh, james bond level type of encoding in order to do that so let me show you that like even though i try whatever like you, it is showing me that it is entering some invalid ip address like even like only if i enter this particular proper ip address then it is showing me that so like i tried my level best in order to solve this particular uh, thing but uh, i found it like next to impossible because there is no way in order to bypass this particular uh, method okay this particular is numeric method so now coming to the mitigation part so now we discussed about this uh, easy uh, medium and hard so now we'll discuss about mitigation like if you are a aspiring developer uh, you need to know how uh, you need to mitigate or bypass this vulnerability like you need to have something called as filtering or uh, input sanitization 
so like whatever the data that is going to uh, going to be sent from the uh, client to the client to server needs to be properly sanitized okay whether it can be on the like it is better to do it on the client side itself okay or you can do it on server side okay so it is always a better way to input the like sanitize the input so let us assume that you are having a uh, what you call uh, an e-commerce website so in e-commerce website there is no need for something like some uh, special characters like uh, and or anything like that like there can be something like and or or semicolon like there is no need for these special characters okay so you can simply do that okay or you can do some extensive input sanitization or you can use this particular uh, uh, thing source code as well in order to uh, like in order to do so you can do some reverse engineering on this code as well and you can try to implement that and you can try to bypass this os command injection or command execution vulnerability okay so that is the reason so you can see like uh, so that is the reason why you can see this os command execution or uh, command execution vulnerability like commonly okay so that is it guys uh, for this uh, os command injection series okay so i hope it is clear and uh, do let me know whether you want uh, whether you want me to make more videos on this vulnerability like i'll try to show this on some other uh, like i'll try to uh, hunt this on some real life web applications and i'll try to show you whether it is possible or not okay so that is it guys uh, if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you